Uh, hello. I suppose the marvelous dragonfly is ready. We don't have to worry about landing too many more times. Just make sure you are done talking to everyone. I lost the interior baffling, so you won't be able to hear a thing once we are in the air. Oh, no, I, I tend to confuse things. Yes, I, I know I do. This is too important for my mutterings. Ah, besides, the decisions that are coming, they are beyond me. You are deciding the fate of an empire. My mistakes result in the occasional crater. How big a hole might you be digging, hmm? I'm ready to go. Oh, I think they know you are ready. Every eye is on you. Across the whole empire, I think. We'll have to see if you are worthy of that gaze, hmm? All right, everyone in! Well, here we are. I'd hoped I wouldn't have to use this entrance again. I doubt this visit will be any less violent than the last. Keep your guard up. This won't be as easy as last time. Ha! You thought that the last visit was easy? This should be more fun than even I could have hoped for. He is right. I did die last time. Yeah, I'm staying here. For safety. A startling revelation from Kang. I expect there will already be enough chaos to go around without your talents. Her will? Is it the water dragon? Trust her voice. We need a path through Master Li's corruption. Trust what you see. Voices can come from anywhere. Whatever we are doing, we have to do it now. Don't worry, I'll make sure there are no surprises this time. This is going to be a mess. I know it is. It'll be fine. I am staying here, just in case. You go teach your master something about whatever he needs to learn. Will do. Graces and good luck. Let's finish this. Your master grows stronger by the minute. We have to find Master Li and stop him. We can't let this continue. Well, I can't say my time with you has been boring. Dangerous, nerve-wracking, even exciting at times, but never boring. You know, being here with you, I almost wish I was home with my wife instead. Almost. Hmm, let me see. I'm terrified. Uh, I'm petrified. I think my pants need to be washed. What else would you like to know about me? Good, good. I'll go back to trying to look inconspicuous. Now what is it? What? This isn't the time for stories. It's time to fight. Let's sharpen our blades instead of our tongues. Never thought we'd be back here again, and still no serving girls. These Sun Brothers are a strange lot. Come on, let's find this dragon and be done with it. Good. I'm itching to fight, not talk. Hey, Silk Fox, can I, uh, there you go.
We don't have time for talk. We must take the fight to your master. The Empire cannot continue like this. Hmm. Do I bring Dawnstar with me for the Chi? Nah. I'll be fine. We'll get this bit of focus back though. I could bring Sky with me to restore my focus, but I highly doubt I'll need it. Hello, friends. Now, these people are a bit annoying because they can poison you. Ugh, none of this bullshit. Not this. Not of this harmonic combo bullshit. Yeah, I think we'll be fine, do you think? Hmm. Not cool. Superior Warrior Gem. That's uh, not amazing, it's just body plus six. Level up. Um. Sure. And, uh. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> so upgrade that fully. Let's, uh. Upgrade that fully. That, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Don't need anything else. What level are we? What are we ending at? Level 22. 22. Now, some of these are trapped. Some of these are trapped. And I seem to remember them. Dealing a lot of damage. So I'm not going to touch him. I'm actually not going to touch him. You can be my guest. But I'm not going to. You have come. Destiny set this moment in motion. But from here, your choices are your own to make. Your master awaits you. But he is not yet aware. You have time to alter things to your favor. You have time to set us all on the path to rebirth. Learn what has come before and you will understand what must be done now. Follow into the depths and see what was done in search of my power. Spirits know many things, but how to assault a fortress does not appear to be one of them. Follow her and take someone with you, but whoever you leave behind should take another route. That way they don't get behind you and we'll all get equal fighting. Good plan. You don't know the palace. You will wander aimlessly. I always wander aimlessly, and I always find my way. Besides, we've been here before. Hmm. Very well. Everyone meet near the throne room. We'll be lucky to see him again. You're lucky to see me now, Princess. I'm not known for leaving my company alive. Okay. Let's go and destroy the body of the Water Dragon. Which is down here. The tombs of the greatest emperors. Here the empire was built, and here the heart of it is laid to rest. Now that heart is torn out, like another to come. 
It was gutted to allow the flow, to guide the water that pours from a crime against the heavens and the order of all things. Such disrespect! I never imagined my father would allow this to happen. What hope is there for the future when the past is cast so roughly aside? Why was this done? Where does the water flow from? Emperor Sun would not accept that his empire had to fade so that something new would bloom. He declared war as if the drought was an advancing army. He and the glorious strategist focused on me, the water dragon. I symbolized the fading they wanted to avoid and the regrowth they desperately needed. I became the answer to everything. Press further, and you will see the source of the lush new empire under the brother's sun. You must see it with your own eyes to comprehend what they have done. That's gruesome. What is this horror? I pray my eyes deceive me. Where are you? Such a brutal display. Now I truly know the depths to which my father went. Behold, words would not have sufficed. You had to see with your own eyes to truly know my fate. This cannot continue. No, it cannot. Fight them! Show them that such things will not go unpunished! Longsword. Longsword. A spear. Goodbye. You've got quite a lot of health there, haven't you? Stop that. Bye-bye. Mm, Now, a nice thing about Storm Dragon's harmonic combo is it generates a focus orb. So, you know, even better for comboing with a longsword. Let's just get this bit of focus back. There we go. Storm Dragon. Long Soul. Thousand cuts. This is what he has done. This is what your master Lee allowed. For twenty years, my body has bled, separate from the spirit, feeding the Empire and the Emperor. It is an agony that you cannot fathom. To have fallen so far into the hands of men. Rebirth is impossible while this continues. No! By all the heavens. Forgive us, great dragon. Our mortal kin are ignorant, foolish, unkind. These crimes will not go unanswered. I have never seen such a crime against the proper order of things. Every freedom I cherish is violated by this. You small creatures. You heard the sounds of battle, but are you truly prepared? What will become of your world if my kind fall to the same evils that plague you? Don't worry, they won't. Your Master Lee must be stopped. The Empire must find balance without the flow of hard water he has unleashed. Surely it wasn't just Master Lee, though. Didn't Emperor Sun place you here? The reign of Emperor Sun saw my abuse, 
But Sun Li, the glorious strategist, laid the plans. One could not occur without the other. It was never his intent to let Brother Hai rule. Had his plan initially succeeded, your master would be emperor, and you would have been destroyed with the others of your kind. I feel as though this could absolve my father of blame, but seeing what was done here, he was beyond my help. What do you think I can do about this? You are a spirit monk, charged with guarding the order of things. You were not born to this role. But as the last, a solemn duty falls at your feet. I cannot be healed. My body has been cut open, my heart removed. I should rejoin the Great Wheel, but I am defiled and cannot rest. Rebirth can only come when my essence is free. To defeat your master, you must stop the power he draws from me. Soon he will be too strong, even for you. Then we must destroy the body. I will do what is necessary to restore the order of things. Your master abuses the amulet he took from you. His brother did not have that luxury, so he needed to draw my essence slowly. The toll on his body was grave. Your master does not have to be so cautious. The amulet is not a source of power, but it is a focus. He partakes of energy that mortals were never meant to hold. He laughs at it greedily, expecting your return. You must destroy the source of that power. You must destroy my body. When he falls, all that is mine will then rejoin my spirit. Rebirth. Then that is what I will do. There is no doubt in my mind. There is no other decision to make. This desecration, we must undo it. A good step toward rectifying this desecration. There was no other reasonable response to such an abomination. Then let it be so. Take hold of a blade, spirit monk, and let it strike true. Destroy the machine that maintains this abomination. The Great Wheel must turn. Now we must go to the throne room. Sun Li will be waiting. The open palm. The deed is done. This is pretty good. Spirit plus 10 and mind plus 5. Let's remove the way of the open palm. We will not need the intuition anymore. Only a fight awaits us. What does the quest say? Go to the throne room. I will live to be as old as the Empire itself, and I will never be able to remove that sight from my mind. I will treasure this moment for as long as I live. To have a hand in such a creature's destiny, it is an honor. This was nearly overwhelming. 
My eyes were not meant to see such things. The greater abomination is yet to come. Yes, your master. He made this possible. I don't know how much help I will be against him. We have to try. I can't leave here knowing I didn't try. We will try. There is nothing else we can do. There are others here who may wish to express a preference in this matter. No one is safe while this continues. Hold them while Silk Fox and I confront Lee. It has to be done. We need to move forward, and this is the only way. Ah, there you are. I knew you would come, and I have grown very good at waiting. You are very different from the student I once taught. Death changed you, I imagine. I apologize for that indignity, but it was necessary. It was also meant to be the end of you, but you surprised me again. I should have studied your people before wiping them out. Even so... I did my best. I made you strong enough to achieve your destiny, but with a weakness I could exploit. I thought I anticipated everything, but you proved me wrong. And you have surprised me, but I know what you are now. <laughs> Do you? What am I? Just a man, and you need to be reminded of it. Just a man? No, I don't think so. If the last spirit monk must return from the dead to oppose me, I am far more than that. I killed hundreds of your kind, thousands, just for the chance to become a god. I can't let you live, now that I am one. I am more than Sunhai ever was. I will undo the damage of his ignorance, force the dead to their rest, and keep the waters flowing. My empire will be ordered, obedient, and neither ghosts nor gods will plague it. And you are all that stands between me and the new peace. My brother summoned underlings to defeat you. I will create them from the very stone! Now this fight is a right bastard, because of course none of these can be staggered by attacks, or otherwise you can't use magic styles against them, so I can't crowd control them with Storm Dragon or Ice Shard, and they soon get close to each other. Ooh. So I'm going to take quite a bit of damage here, but it should be okay. This guy's ranged, which is even worse, I guess he goes down next. Okay. And you. Ooh. Ooh, he fell over. <laughs> nice that we're getting this spirit back. Now, of course, Silk Fox isn't really being of help here. All she does is help me deal more damage with Martial Styles. She's just along for the ride. Because I like her. Be careful. 
He still has great power to draw upon. I think we'll be fine. An impressive display. Your star shines bright, but it is still trapped within a mortal body. Perhaps a more direct application of my power will show you what you are up against. And just how restrictive your shell truly is. Yes, this will amuse me. Worse than actually dying. Seeing death come, and being unable to stop it. Physical barriers are no match for those we place in our own minds. My power has encased you in doubt, held you with the weight of your burden. Your stolen power can't hold me. I will fight your influence. You and your followers are playthings. The rest are held just as you are. You are each too weak to match my power. Uh, what the hell is going on? Yes, well said. Lee traps us in our own bodies. Add your strength to mine. <laughs> Now we fight one. Doubt. It is much like a spirit. Can't use the long sword. Can use that though, of course. And this guy does a lot of damage if he gets close. Let's use focus mode for once. Thousand cuts. <laughs> Amusing, but pointless. My talons are deep within you. More fools leap to your defense, but no matter. The weight of my power will crush you soon enough. You know nothing of loyalty. That is your weakness. I am with you. We haven't come this far to fail now. We cannot let this stand, not when so much is at stake. I stand with you. We will not fall just yet. Doubt number two. This one has a spear. So, of course, more annoying. <laughs> hey, bud. Focus. Yeah. Bit too slow. Yeah, bring yourself to me. Thank you very much. Your efforts are meaningless. Do you think to counter my influence by yourself? A god holds you. Nothing in the mortal realm can help you. Nothing! I have moved with you, hidden, trying to keep focus. I give you all that I am, all that I was. Restore what has been corrupted. Nothing from the mortal realm can help us. But a spirit can. Oh 
Once again, I misunderstand. The raw energy, you are far too resistant to it. The loyalty you inspire is also tiresome, but I respect it. You have truly become a spirit monk. In another time, I would be proud of your ability. You were a great teacher. Your skill was wasted on evil ambition. I am not satisfied with helping others surpass me. I quickly tired of elevating my brother, and I will not learn to serve you. I see now that the Water Dragon's power is the prize, not the means to victory. No matter what I expend, while you live, you will resist. That is your role. It is the celestial bureaucracy attempting to restore balance. We must bring the fight back down to Earth, unless you are made to see it reason. There can be no deals. Let's end this, master versus student. No great waves of energy, no demons from the walls. Skill versus skill, master versus student, as you said. I expect you have corrected the flaw in your style. No matter. Beyond the basics, I also taught you focus. Match me if you can. Focus indeed. Now the interesting thing about Sun Li is he's the only enemy in the game that can use focus mode. Like that. But if you use focus mode, it evens it out. He is chain stunning us right now, which is a bit dumb. That's what I get for trying to commentate. But well, we can cheese him as well. Much like Death's Hand. He's wearing the same armor after all. <laughs> That's what you get for trying to chain stun me, master. Storm Dragon. Long sword. You surprise me yet again. <coughs> I'm a better teacher. Than I thought. And that is the end of the game. And at the end we get little bits of text on what our companions are going to do in the future. 
The first is Silk Fox, and says a bit about us as well. Though the credibility of her family was understandably marred by the actions of her father and uncle, Princess Sun Lian emerged from the incident with a newfound credibility that easily secured her claim to the throne. This was thanks in no small part to keeping Furious Ming very close at hand. He was welcomed as her companion and eventually as emperor by her side. Together they would rule over a new golden age that seemed like it would never end. Dawnstar the defeat of Sun Li signalled a new beginning for the Jade Empire, and a personal awakening in Dawnstar. Despite the loss of the master she thought she knew, with the restoration of the natural order the Empire seemed alive with possibility. She had seen the heart of the land in turmoil, so she retraced her steps, replacing memories of destruction with sights of renewal. Soon she found herself back in the ruin of two rivers. It was painful, but she took comfort in knowing that the fish were abundant and the land remained fertile. Eventually, new settlers would come. She replanted her garden, a flower for each of her lost friends, and set out across the empire once more. Also, a little interesting thing about Dawnstar, which we didn't learn during the game, I mustn't have listened to enough of Sagacious Zoo's conversations before he left. So that is my bad, I messed up a bit there. But the interesting thing is, Dawnstar is actually Sun Li's daughter, and therefore a princess, and Sun Lian's cousin. Sagacious Zhu spared the child, and uh, took it with him. That is the child that he gave to Hui, and she then passed it on to Sun Li, unknowing that he is her actual father. And he didn't know either. So there you go, that's pretty cool. Sky. Drastic shifts in power always create political and economic turbulence. In the years following the defeat of Emperor Sun Li, however, things were remarkably calm, with food supplies reaching the poor and imperial control of areas abandoned to near lawlessness quickly restored. Those who were there credit the smooth transition to the aid of a group called the Guild. Working under some mysterious imperial sanction, the Guild's agents moved supplies quickly to those who needed them most, and helped the Imperial Army pinpoint the camps of bandit leaders and others who threatened Imperial control. While the guild faded from sight as peace was restored, stories persisted. Most stories recounted the exploits of this mysterious organization's dashing new leader, Sky. His ready smile, endless energy and kindness quickly made him a legend among the common people. Hempect Ho Hempect Ho's wife finally tracked him down and brought him back home to settle back into the simple Bunmaster's life. A few years later, he became a father for the first time. Though having septuplets at his age was not unheard of, having seven daughters at once was a bit peculiar. Shortly after, Ho became deathly ill after accidentally eating a bun he intended to give to his wife. Ho's wife invited her entire family to live with them while he was bedridden. Ho recovered more quickly than expected, but word of his poisonous bun made sure that his career as a bun master was over. Instead, Ho became a delivery man, delivering packages throughout the empire. He has yet to return from his first delivery. Wildflower. The will of the heavens was fulfilled. The heart of the water dragon was restored, and her soul reborn. Balance returned to the heavens, and the Jade Empire endured. His duty discharged, Chai Ka, the Heavenly Gate Guardian, returned to his heaven once more. In honour of her service to the heavens, the girl, Wildflower, whom Chai Ka had raised to serve as his anchor, was granted the most precious gift of all, life. She was given a chance to live a new life according to her own whim. Kang. After Sun Li's defeat, Kang the Mad enjoyed actual public appreciation for his devices. It was brief, however, and as the Empire returned to peace, his machines once more became the greatest identifiable threat to the common good. His flies grew faster and more durable, the driving force often an angry mob hurling even larger stones. When last seen, Kang was boarding an alarmingly bare-bones device he had dubbed the Celestial Rocket Chair. While it allowed him to avoid his latest pursuers, the launch also left a crater that suggested the escape was more permanent than he might have planned. Despite this, on each anniversary of the victory, Furious Ming would find a fantastic new machine on his doorstep, seemingly appearing out of nowhere. Black Whirlwind 
The Black Whirlwind accepted a job hunting demons for the Celestial Bureaucracy, but the ensuing red tape frustrated him so much that he gave up, and made for the mysterious east. Shortly thereafter, the Empire received a great influx of Outlanders, many of whom were missing limbs and other body parts. He returned to the Jade Empire several years later, but this time he came from the west. He couldn't explain how he did it, but he was the only person unsurprised to arrive back where he started. Expressing a newfound hatred for the people who couldn't make a decent bowl of wine, the Black Whirlwind vowed to never again leave the Jade Empire. A week later, he got bored and headed off to the north. Sir Roderick Sir Roderick Ponce von Fontelbottom, the Magnificent Bastard, left the Jade Empire a broken man. His skills had failed him at the moment of greatest import, and he found it difficult to stomach his defeat, despite his grand capacity. Surely he had not lost as badly as he thought. Surely there was some explanation. Surely he still had something to teach this barbaric land. After much soul-searching, he traded his last pair of pantaloons for a passage to the prosperous east, and he began the long journey home. It is said he eventually discovered the Fountain of Kuth, and is now virtually inflappable. That, or he was accidentally killed by the Black Whirlwind. It is hard to say. People seem to lose interest. As for Percival, he tired of being called Shirley and returned to his village.